Hi there, and thanks for joining us for another edition of the Creek Catch-Up. This is where we talk all things Albion Park harness racing, and this Saturday night, it's going to be another great night because it's night two of the Racing Queensland Summer Carnival, and hopefully you cashed up. Earlier in the week, Tuesday, it was the race that stopped the nation, and the Melbourne Cup was run and won without a fight coming out on top. So hopefully you found that winner, had it in the sweep, and hopefully you're ready to go for another great night. Ten races, seven of those races are features. We start at 5.28 on Saturday night. The highlight without doubt is going to be the Aqua Constructions Queensland Cup. This is the open class race. Many of these horses stepping out for the final time before the Inter-Dominion kicks off officially on December 1. So we're only weeks away, so this is a great opportunity to check out the local talent before they're ready to go for ID23. And headlining this race on the weekend is the current star, Leap to Fame. Beaten for the first time at Albion Park, out of the place. He finished fourth last week, but as we all know, we've all watched the replay, the draw beat him last week. So hopefully he can turn it all around this weekend. He has come up with a front row draw. He's got Black Sedance drawn to his inside. That's a big talking point. Will Black Sedance go for an all-the-way victory? Or does Leap to Fame boss and bully his way to the front? Well, we'll soon find out on Saturday night. Uh, Tab have come to the party. There is a first four jackpot with this race on Saturday night, the Queensland Cup. I think it's about a $20,000 start pool. They're projecting that pool to exceed $125,000. So it might be a really good race to play with Leap to Fame being a short price favourite with Tab when they put up the fixed odds markets. So you might be able to work out a first four combo standing out the champ Leap to Fame. So we look forward to that on Saturday night. As I said, the support program is absolutely outstanding. So make sure you head along to Ellaby and Park this Saturday night see some really good horses and then return on Friday December 1 because ID23 fast approaching make sure you stay up to date by checking out the website id23.com.au check out the Creek website as well they'll have all the latest news also so there's plenty of websites to check out speaking of Albion Park why not become a member it's very easy go online check out the Creek website you can do it all online very simple get yourself sorted for ID23 why not become a sponsor at Albion Park as well Magnificent opportunity upcoming with the ID uh, series just around the corner. You might be able to get some really good opportunities through sponsorship as well. So contact the club and whilst I'm on a roll, the Christmas parties, we're fast approaching that big day, December 25. Why not host your Christmas party at Albion Park? So you can talk to the girls in the office there and they'll be able to get you sorted if you are considering hosting your uh, work Christmas party at the track. Now, just on some news, Zena Rainbow, who was unbeaten before heading down to Melbourne on Wednesday night, she led up, she weakened over the concluding stages, she finished fifth. That was in the heat of the Breeders' Crown, so we're hopeful that she'll be able to come out of that race and then qualify for the next stage, the semi-final. Not as promised, the last start, Group 1 Victoria Trotter's Derby winner. He's expected to start next Wednesday in a heat of the Breeders' Crown, so all the best two connections there. Now, we've got plenty of horses on the move. It looks like Arco, away we go. Their futures now look like it's going to be held in North America. Incognito comes up from Sydney. Red right hand, shout out to Trent Letherby, Talia McMullen. They're going super down there. He was victorious at Menangle last Saturday night, so let's hope that good form continues for the young couple. It's a wrapped as a new trotter that's joined the stables of Ben Battle. He's finally got himself a trotter, so let's see how he goes with this guy. It's a wrap. Pacifico Dreams has joined the stables of Grant and Trista Dixon, purchased recently by uh, Greg Mitchell. So that's a newcomer to Queensland. Pretty smart horse as well, Pacifico Dreams. Uh, also, a number of Kiwis have found their way to Brisbane. Bobby Waterhouse goes to the stables of Narissa McMullen. CPK is a nice trotter. Jack and Tara Butler have now taken control of that trotter. Bogle McNeat, strange name, but he's a nice horse. He's one for one. He's a three-year-old by Sweet Lou. He scored on Ashburton Flying Stakes Day. Goes to the stables of Trista Dixon. So her stable goes from one to two. OK, Boomer. And this guy's on the way. Bogle McNeap. Uh, Coley Trouble is a trotter that's headed to Queensland. And RD's Money has also headed to Queensland. So we've got some new stock on the way. So we wish all the connections the very best there. Speaking of good horses in ID 23... Friday afternoon between races, Speak the Truth and Van Sank for Team Raboki. They're going to have a solid workout 
uh, between races. So they're gearing up towards the uh, both Inter-Dominion pacing and trotting series. So it'll be interesting to see how they perform because as we know, that series is uh, just around the corner, December 1, first night action. And don't forget next Tuesday, we are racing at Albion Park, but that coincides with New Zealand Cup Day, and all eyes will be on the New Zealand Cup because Swayze, who won the Blacks of Fake earlier this year in July, he goes around and he's certainly going to be one of the horses to beat there up against the local star, Akuta. So he's looking to win the New Zealand Cup. Jason Grimson with Swayze. You'll be able to catch that action from the creek on Tuesday afternoon. That's all the news that we have for this week. We'll see a trackside Saturday night. What a card of racing we've got coming up. The first of 10 at 5.28.